All right, we're on to step three of the cube project. And so what you're going to do on this step, you're actually going to get under the software on the computer. So on the desktop, find this icon that says SolidWorks. That is the software we're going to be using. And go ahead and double click on it to open it up. I've already got mine open. Uh, so when, as you're opening it, uh, you're going to get an option on what kind of a file to open. And there's three main types of files that we'll be using. There's part files, assembly files, and drawing files. Uh, for getting started, we're going to make a part file. And you'll notice that the little icon that they have in this looks uh, probably a lot like the little cube pieces that you're going to be making. So go ahead and just double click on the part or hit OK. And it's going to open up into a part file. Now once that's open, you're going to go ahead and go up to Sketch. Now Features, these are going to be all your three-dimensional options up here when you're adding a third dimension to a sketch. Uh, but before we do that, we need to have two-dimensional sketch. So we'll go ahead and click on Sketch, and then click this first option, which says Sketch again. Okay. Then you get this little box right here that says Select a Plane. Basically, it needs to know where you're going to be sketching. Are you going to be using the top plane, the front plane, the right side plane? And let's go ahead and just look for this to say front plane. And if you choose one of the other ones, it's okay. Now you're going to be making your cube project out of three-quarter inch wooden cube, so that's 0.75 inches on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and make an object here, and I'm going to say that I'm going to have a piece that's three cubes tall. And so I'm going to make a big rectangle. And how I did that was I clicked on this little rectangle right here. I clicked once up here, and I dragged down, and I clicked again, and it made that. I'm going to go over here to Smart Dimension. And I'm going to say my little column here is going to be quarter of an inch wide. So I can now give that a 0.75 dimension and hit OK. And it's going to be three cubes tall, and each cube is three quarters of an inch, so it's 0.75 times 0.75, or plus 0.75 plus 0.75, which is the same thing as 0.75 times three, which is 2.25. But it'll do the calculation for you. If you want to just plug that in, hit enter it's into the calculation and say, okay, your total height is 2.25 inches. Now let's go ahead and give it that third dimension because I've got two dimensions. I'm going to go to Features, and I'm going to say Extrude, and this is going to add material. Now it defaults to a tenth of an inch, so it selected my little rectangle, and it pulled it out a tenth of an inch, and I'm going to go ahead and change that and say I actually want it to be 0.75, so it's the actual thickness of the wooden cubes, and then I'll say OK. And now we've made a solid object. Okay. Now maybe my cube actually has more stuff going on. Maybe it's got a, another little square coming off the middle of this face right here. So I can go back to sketch and I'm going to say I want to sketch and again this yellow box pops up and says what, you know, select a plane or a face. So basically where do you want to sketch? Well, I'm going I'm to sketch on this face right here. And so it just put the sketch plane on there and I'm going to choose the rectangle again. And maybe I'm going to say, and I'm going to go ahead and look at this. If I go right here to View Orientation, I can see all my different views. So I'm going to say, I want to look at this right side face. Now I'm looking right at it. Okay, I'm going to say, from this edge, I want a rectangle that comes out something like that. And I'm going to go to Smart Dimension. And I'm going to make sure it's 0.75. And it's going to be two blocks long. So we'll say 1.5. And I want to make sure it's the right distance from the top. So from that edge to this edge, if I click on both edges, it gives me the dimension in between them. Let's say 0.75 for that also. All right, and so now I've got that rectangle, and now I can go back to Features, and I can say Extrude. I'm going to select that, and if you see, if I orbit it around, and you can orbit by pressing down on the dial in the middle of your mouse, and then just as long as you hold it down, you can orbit things around. And I want it to come out 0.75, and I'll hit OK. And so now I have a part that looks like that. And maybe that was one of the parts for my cube puzzle. And the last thing I want to do before I save it is come right up here to this Edit Appearance. And when I click on Edit Appearance, I'll be able to choose a color. And so maybe I'll say this one's going to be pink. This is going to be my pink piece, and that's OK. And then I'm going to go Save It, and it'll be my pink piece. And then I'm going to go open up. When you're done with that, once you've saved it, um, then you should go open up a new, a new part and make your next piece. Now when you're saving it, when you go File, Save As, I want you to make sure that you select on New Folder, this little new folder right here, and I want you to create a folder called Engineering. And inside that folder, I want you to create another folder, and I want you to call it the Cube Project. And then you can save all of your different parts into the Cube Project folder that's within your Engineering. And you may even want a ninth grade 
folder that engineering goes in so you're organized by grade level also. All right, that's step one. Once you have all of your parts built, let me know for the grade check.